Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Alps is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Alps became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Alps' ice palace. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times, or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Alps, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. Even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid before its defeat, I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now. Damn it. I better get out of here before these things... <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Take it slowly. You haven't recovered from that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. So perhaps you should put off anything too demanding for a few days. <sighs> what happened? You should know. You were there. The invaders arrived, started taking over the world, transforming it. Transforming? Terraforming, right? That's an alien species? Hmm. A most hostile, most dangerous species. So they're not just in Caracas. Their formers have appeared in every region, threatening life everywhere. It's not clear what they want yet. All they're doing for now is spreading infection, killing destroying. Not a promising start. Something's not right. I feel... I feel weak. Oh, yes. You were bitten by one of those creatures. Looks like it infected you. Some kind of disease. What? A disease? I'm still not sure how it works, but... It's clearly all part of the invaders' plan. At the rate they're transforming things, it won't be long before the whole of Magalan is overrun with their plants and animals. Oh, great. You were lucky. It could have been a lot worse. If I were you, I'd stay out of their way and not tempt fate. All other instances of direct contact so far have proved fatal. Who are you? You can call me Adam. Just think of me as a friend who was in the right place at the right time. That's all you need to know. Where's my stuff? If you're talking about the belongings you had in that hut, you can forget about them. All I can save is what you have on you. How long have I been out? A few days. You're still badly hurt. I did what I could with your wounds. Days? No. Dex! Come on, I'll meet you there! Be careful! <laughs> Dex! Dex! Damn it, Dex! Father? Hey, my boy. Hey. 
You all right? Yeah, I guess, but... Father, can I ask you a question? Of course. What's it like when you're unconscious? It doesn't feel great. It's like someone's stealing a chunk of your time. Why do you ask? I think something like that just happened to me. Have you been bitten? No, but those flowers make me feel weird. Just look at them. They're so big. Listen to me. From now on, you stay close to me or ask her. You got it? You're not ready to be out there by yourself. But I wasn't by myself. Grandpa was with me. What? What did you say? Mordek said you'd react this way. That's why he left in such a hurry before he could run into you. You spoke to a man? Uh-huh. And he said his name was Wardek. And he was your father. What else did he say? Lots of things. And he helped me almost get to the former. I don't know why you don't like him. He's really nice. I told you I don't like him. Mother says you had a fight. You should never trust strangers. They can lie to you. Stick close to me or your mother. Or ask her. But... All right, Father. What were you doing out there anyway? I wanted to see the land of the invaders. There must be a way to speak to them. You have to be more responsible, Dex. You're just a kid. If they'd seen you, they would have killed you. Even the smallest spark can start a fire. You used to say that, remember? <sighs> I don't want the invaders to fight us. Right now, they don't leave us any choice. I thought maybe I could find something in the former to help us stop fighting. Did the man talk you into this? No, he was just helping me. What am I going to do with you? Do you know how worried your mother was? Oh, come on. I'm not some stupid kid wearing a tinfoil hat to keep aliens away. It's true, I swear. There's something inside the formers, like a ghost or something. But really strong. I can feel it. It can help us, Father. We just have to listen to what it says and try to understand it. Damn it, Dex. Maybe you're right. Who knows? But it's just too dangerous. Yeah, I know. But now that I've seen one of those formers, I just know we're gonna go inside one of them someday. You'll see. We'll find that thing I was talking about, and it'll help you beat the invaders. Okay, okay. But right now we have to get out of here. I'm taking you back to the Bastion. All right. Fuck. Too close. So that's what it feels like. Such humiliation. Huh. You really have no idea. Betrayed and expelled by your own people. That's humiliation. Must have been a trying time for you. It was. I believe you. But being attacked at home by the enemy, that's a terrible thing too. Thank the stars these beasts won't be able to report back to their masters, or we'd soon have a garrison of sky ants to deal with. Are you sure they can't? Well, they are all dead. I'm starting to think they can do a lot more than we know. Maybe even telepathy. Ah, enough of that. Let's try to stay positive, okay? How can we improve our situation? Okay, that's enough recruits for now. Certainly an interesting troop. What's our next step? I need to check the inventory, take stock. Then I'll know where we stand. When I need your help again, 
I'll let you know. Many thanks. Wait. I'm afraid I have bad news from Tavar. No idea if it's true, but... There are rumors that Victor the Patriarch has assembled his troops, and plans to attack the fort. Damn it. I knew something like this would happen. Good no. Well, let's discuss how to proceed then. I may have some information that you'll find interesting. Relative immortality. The Skyans monopolized it and used it to become an almost indestructible species. They even use outdated technologies from the old world against us. Structures of the long-forgotten Infinite Skies Corporation. Corroded computers from factory ruins. Even the cleric's decommissioned AI plays a role in the war for Magalon. The Skyans' terrible plan seems to keep on moving forwards. But I know they can be killed. Their immortality is only relative. Strengthening our military and weakening theirs is quickly becoming the top item on every agenda. People are starting to understand that they can't ignore the invaders anymore. And neither can I. The infection is progressing and it's really affecting me. We'll soon see what Dawkins' advice to train my willpower was actually worth. But I'm still not sure about Dawkins himself. On one hand, it seems that he actually wants to serve humanity. On the other, he nearly led us all to destruction in the war against the Alps. What's he planning? What does he actually want to achieve? And why has my double-crossing father returned? Right now, when everything hangs in the balance, I have a difficult task ahead of me. And so many questions, which I'll learn the answers to very soon. And according to reports, your father is in the northernmost reaches of Ignadon. How do you know that? I may spend most of my life in the grotto, but I'm not oblivious as to what goes on elsewhere. And now that you know where Wardek is, I have no doubt you'll find him. Anyway, I'm a busy man, and I don't have business to attend to. I suggest you see to it. Oh, and don't forget, I know all about your bastion. That'll teach you to talk back. Just in time for our little party. Hmm, looks like this one's finished. But I'm not, so what do you think? Wanna take his place? See you haven't changed. Can't say the same about you, idiot. Still wasting your life in that shithole? Not anymore. A lot's happened since then. What are you doing here anyway? Thought you were with the outlaws. Used to be. I'm done with those assholes. Berserkers are in charge of the fort now. To hell with that. Then there's Baxter up at the crater. Fucker wanted me to work my way up from the bottom. You believe that? My own people. Figure I might as well hang out with the crazies here. Looks like you got a good thing going. Hey, they're a bunch of violent psychos. Of course they love me. You know how it is. We both know how to land on our feet.
Still hanging out with that little tramp? Look who's talking. Heard you two had a kid. Yeah, it's been, uh, interesting. Yeah, that's one word for it, I guess. Whatever. None of my business. Since when do you care about other people? I used to care about you, didn't I, asshole? Or have you forgotten already? Anyway, things have changed. It's a whole new game. So, I'll enter the data. Let's see how long. What's that? The smell. It's familiar. What's this contraption? Hang on. my path from the very start. The path of immortality. No. We are the pinnacle of humanity. Together, no one can stop us. No. Remember. 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 Shit. What was that? A hallucination? A real memory? Um, well, then I've got one or two really fundamental things to figure out. We need to talk again about the storage of the supplies. Again? Yes. This inadequate approach to warehouse structuring is highly inefficient. Oh, really? Absolutely. The state of the arsenal is also basic at best. We're unlikely to win this war if we carry on like this. Hmm. I predict we'll see a failure of the basic systems in the first two cycles of the... starting to develop the ability to control it. Your work will not have been in vain. Enough talking. Let's end this now. As you wish. Big mistake!
probability of survival critically low. Damn it. That son of a bitch. You know I'm right. I have to get into the capsule so we can use it to attack the AI and the main former. <sighs> I'm not going to talk you out of this, am I? Let me try. Please. Okay. Let's do it. I won't let you down. If this works like I think it will, I'll set up a channel with your drone. So if you want to talk to me, you'll have to use Crony, okay? Hurry, before I change my mind. Cassandra's external node point. Classification still harmless. Okay, now work your cyberspace magic. Dex will be waiting for you. I'll keep an eye out in case Cassandra sends any henchmen. Acknowledged. Takeover. Initializing security protocols. Holding position. Curators will. 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 error. Initiating reboot sequence. Loading new identity. Completed. Dex, is that really you? Yes, Father. It's me. Cassandra infiltrated. Takeover complete. Did it work? Dex, can you hear me? How are you doing? Dex message. Everything's fine. I just have a few things to take care of. Issues with Cassandra's security protocols, you might call it, Father. Then Cassandra's now under your control. Control Unit Zero eliminated. Dex message. Cassandra's consciousness has been deleted, but it's a huge mess here right now. Okay, that all sounds pretty good. Now we can try and get through the main former gateway. Dex message. Cassandra made more viruses and security protocols before she was deleted. I'll need to collect and deactivate them first. That might take a while. I have strategic orders here from the Skyans and records of their troop movements over the last two days. The Skyans ordered a large section of their force to march into Marakor. Deal with the invaders first. An immobilized main former is no use if the Skyand army is going to destroy everything anyway. Huh, you're right. You know, you make a great commander. Dex message. I hope I won't have to once the war is over. But still. Thank you, Father. I'll report back once I've cleared things up here. End of transmission. Be careful, little guy. Okay. I can't get this idea of DNA replication out of my head. If it's all true, then who or what am I? 
Am I some kind of clone? Am I under Dawkins' control? It doesn't feel like it. I mean, I still have free will, don't I? Central console, Cassandra deactivated. Path to main former now clear. <laughs> Probability of human survival within critical range. <sighs> I need to keep going. I'm doing what I do best. It's the best help I can be. So many years. Now just a heap of old metal and circuitry. Are you still in there? This must be the Skyon's most sacred place. If there really is a plan to stop the Singularity, I'll find somebody here who knows about it. Do you even comprehend what you have done, human? Human? You're just an old scientist who decided to play God. Is that what you think? That this is a game? You are mistaken. The change that is coming is deadly serious. You're talking about that thing up there. It's your fault it's about to destroy us. You and your crazy friends. You're the ones who tapped into it. You know nothing, human. You have no conception of what is about to happen. The Singularity is not like a comet. It is not a simple object that will crash into the planet and destroy it. It will absorb this world, altering the laws of matter, time, and space completely. So there's a chance humanity could survive. The Singularity is brimming with fertile energy, but... His capacity for destruction is vast. There is no telling what it will do if there is no one to control it when we're joined. Should any being like you survive, it will be a life without rules. An existence you cannot even conceive of. And you're the peak of human evolution? You don't have the slightest clue what's going to happen when that thing hits us. We are many, and we were created for a single purpose. The changeling that stands before you is an elemental, forged with a new elex. Only the best of us can control the singularity before it collides with us. That is what I am, and that is what will be.
So what's the plan? They shoot you up there and you, what? You deflect that thing? Oh, an elemental does not deflect. It controls. I am a changeling now. I can adapt to every environment. I will control the singularity and absorb its power. And with it, remake this planet and remake those who are worthy of living in it. An elemental? I've heard that before. I can't say I know what it means. You are the second anomaly. If anyone should know, it is you. Your prototype and its offshoots share the privilege of being elementals of the first Elix derivative. If your skills have not yet developed as they should have, then it is the prototype that has made it so. What are you saying? That Dawkins built some sort of safety switch? control into me? Almost certainly, there are those who cannot bear to share power. It could be done with a special DNA key, one that ensures your powers as a first Elex Elemental remain limited. He limited my abilities so I wouldn't be able to defeat him. That would mean he has at least one of those powers. I wonder why he never used any of them. Besides his immortality, of course. So, you know what abilities Dawkins possesses? I never asked him. I know that willpower is one of my powers. But Dawkins... Hmm, we will soon tear this secret from your body in our research cells. You're destroying the world. Not destroying. Changing. As far as the people who live here are concerned, it's the same thing. Humanity must be sacrificed. That cannot be avoided. We have to be as prepared as possible for the arrival of the Singularity. The consequences of deviating from our plan would be fatal. This is about you surviving. That's what all this is really about. There is more than my survival at stake. The beast within us has grown beyond our control. Any deviation from our ideals will represent a step down on the evolutionary ladder. Is that what this is about? You're regressing. You've climbed such heights of evolution. You're scared all you can do now is fall. Probably why you're turning into some kind of reptile. That is speculation, and of no relevance. Enough of this. I have duties to fulfill, and you are in my way. You have accomplished much, and created no end of problems for us. But it ends now. I'm not scared of you. You will be once you witness my powers. You pathetic human. Afraid he won't be the last. 
The Skyans didn't just breed this species because of the singularity. The changelings are their new weapon to take us all down. People have short memories. How long will it take before nobody remembers any of this at all? The war, the invasion, the fight against change and annihilation, the battles for basic resources and territorial disputes will change, and something new will take their place. An era of confusion, change, Superhumans, changelings, the quest for the next evolutionary stage in resilience will consume us all. The battle for the privilege of becoming an Elix Elemental has been unleashed, a race against time. Whoever loses will fall by the wayside and be lost in the tides of change. The Skyans and Elix were only precursors to the threats to Nagalon in years to come. An almighty power that stretches its jaws around the world. Something nobody here will be able to ignore. Something new has begun. An age of change. The power. The singularity.